Hey everybody, thank you for joining me. In this video, I will take you on a quick tour using Red Lion's Crimson 3.0 software to configure the web server that resides on board each of Red Lion's G3 operator interfaces and the SX and GT models of the Modular Controller Master and the Data Station Plus. Please remember while you're on tour that the web server on the models mentioned is inherent to the design of the product and requires no extra purchase of hardware modules and remote access to it requires no third-party software plugins running on your system. If your target device happens to be a Red Lion G3 HMI, a standard web browser like Internet Explorer allows you to see the same screens as the operator. As for the Modular Controller Master and the Data Station Plus, these red boxes don't have a local operator display, but instead offer a virtual HMI display that's accessible through that same Internet Explorer connection. You can set all of these devices up to monitor only, or enable full control from a remote PC, a web-enabled phone, a PDA, or other web-enabled device. If you don't need to see the visual screens but still want to view the data, you can easily program the G3 HMI, Modular Controller Master, or the Data Station Plus to provide a view void of graphics showing only the required data. If you are logging data to the Compact Flash Card, access to that information through the web server is a simple matter of enabling that feature. For added flexibility, the G3 HMIs, the Modular Controller Master, and the Data Station Plus can also be configured to serve custom HTML pages that you create using any HTML editor and stored to an installed compact flashcard. We will not delve into the technical aspects of this feature in this video, but I will show you where to find a tech note on this subject on our website. So, let's take a look at the Crimson 3 software setup that's required to make the web server work for us. And let me just say right up front that if you're looking for this to be a frustrating, tedious, time-consuming chore, you will have to use someone else's software because in Red Lion's Crimson 3, it's an easy deal. The first reference we need to make is to the communications section. Be aware there's more than one way of accessing our product to make use of the web server function. For example, if the IT department doesn't want to punch a hole in the firewall to use an Ethernet connection, you can use a serial modem. Red Lion recommends using multi-tech modems. Another way to get the job done is to make use of Red Lion's cell modem option card for remote access over a cellular network where a wired broadband Ethernet connection may not be available. In this example, I'm using the Ethernet port with its mode set to manual configuration. So, now we go back to the web server section of the software to start what should be the tedious, time-consuming chore of setting up the web server itself, right? But watch this. It can't get much easier than this. You barely have to be paying attention to get this right. You check the Enable Server box. Give your server a title, if you want. And then enable the features you want access to when you log in. In this case, I want a remote view. I want to have control from a remote PC or some other device with web access. And since I'm logging data to a flashcard, I want to be able to view those log files while I'm there. If I download this setup to my target device, which in this case is a Data Station Plus, and its Ethernet port is connected to an Ethernet network with web access, then from a remote PC or other device with web access and Internet Explorer, I can enter the IP address that I gave this data station and access its web server. And as you can see, without any further software massaging, programming code to write, or other dirty tasks to perform, the data station serves up the information I asked it for. A remote view of my process, and with remote control enabled, any areas that were designated touch sensitive I have control over from my web browser. And that could include navigation buttons, as well as data entry fields. Now, think about that for a second. That means that I not only have control over navigating and controlling a G3 HMI, a Modular Controller Master, or in this case, a Data Station Plus, but I also have control over the external devices that are connected to and communicating with the Redline product, whether it be a PLC, a drive, or a PID control. Which is to say, we've just web-enabled your entire machine or process. 
If I go back to the list of options, here's my link to access the data logs, which conveniently show up as CSV files and open into Excel. Now, there may be times when we want to strip the graphics from the web view. Maybe we're doing this over a limited bandwidth connection or, say, a serial modem or other slow connection where downloading all those graphics would slow it down even more. Or a certain supervisor just doesn't need to see the pretty pictures and just wants to see the available data. What we can do to solve this little problem is create a page under the web server, or a whole list of pages if you like, and then come over here to the resource pane to the list of available data and drag onto that page what you want made available to the server. Then we download that to the data station. And now you can see there is an extra link available called View Data. And if I click that link, my page or list of pages shows up here. And then I can view the data that I added to this page without viewing all of the graphics that are included with the remote view. Now, there are two quick things I need to do to finish this up. First, I'll show you how to find a tech note on our website that details dishing out custom web pages over our web server. From our home page, click on Support, then Virtual Help Desk, Tech Notes, and scroll down to the HMI section, and there it is. This paper will show you how to create a custom website and what tools are available to help you do that. And just a heads up, there is a note in this document that states that although the HTML code will be explained or commented on throughout this document, a basic understanding is required to create a proper website. So you want to keep that in mind. And lastly, one thing we didn't talk about throughout this video was the issue of securing access to your application from every other human being on the planet with a PC and an internet connection. Although there are several layers of security that can be invoked within Crimson 3, I will read an important note from Crimson 3's help file concerning this matter. While Crimson provides a variety of protection mechanisms to limit access to the web server, you should use good engineering practices when designing your system. This means that you should avoid performing any safety-related operations via the web server, and you should ideally use an external firewall to prevent unauthorized access in case Crimson's own security protections are breached. Security is ultimately your own responsibility, and Red Lion Controls does not recommend that you rely solely on Crimson's own security measures. Thank you for coming along on this tour of the web server capabilities of Red Lion's G3 HMIs, the Modular Controller Master, the Data Station Plus, and of course Crimson 3.0.